And you know what? I told him that he told you last summer. So to start our evening, can we ask you to put your hands together and give a warm welcome for Craig Thatcher. Well, good evening. Good evening. How is everyone doing tonight? What a beautiful place. This is so fitting to be in a building of this age with guitars that have been in a family for as long as they've been. Going on 185 years. So that's pretty incredible for us. Considering our country is, you know, just... Oh, no, not that old, right, right. You took the words right out of my mouth. Now, I don't know if it's going to get much older the way things are going, but... Uh... So, what I do, I, I, I've had a, such a blast being in your country. I love England, always have, love the UK, uh, been here. This is my fifth trip, and uh, I just want you to know that I drive, I drive and own a proper British motor, a 1973 TR6. Uh, and it's not a weekend car. It's, I take it out from April till November and I drive it all the time. So I travel around the world for Martin. It's, the, it's a dream job and I get to present the guitars and, and when, when Chris and I aren't together, um, I actually get to do some of the history. It's much more interesting coming from Chris, but uh, I've learned well from Chris and Dick Boat, who is, who is like my brother and Martin as well, and uh, it, it's a dream job. I love doing it. I love meeting people and, and presenting these beautiful guitars, and I live born and raised and still live very, very close to the factory, so I'm 30 minutes away from Martin, so it's uh, they've accepted me and their family, and I'm very proud and honored. So what I travel with is this is the Triple O 18E Retro. So it has a lot of uh, retro or vintage build characteristics and appearance wise, but we also have the RFT1 pickup system in this guitar. So because we have that in here, I am going to play it through this amplifier. I believe everything else we play tonight is going to be acoustic. I'll just use my little Neumann microphone. But this particular guitar, which uh, I'm so used to, I want you to hear the the idea behind a pickup system is to make it sound as natural as possible. You're supposed to say, oh, I don't even realize there's a pickup in there. It's so transparent, you know? So I'm hoping that maybe that'll come through. Thank you. Any Chad fans in the audience? Thank you. 
my dreams. Thank you very much. Great little blues guitarist. Thank you. Thank you. OM42, which is... <laughs> okay, so let, let's talk about the difference of, between a triple O and an OM. The OM came out in 1929. OM stands for Orchestra Model. Perry Bechtel, who was a banjo player from Georgia, came or contacted Martin said he wanted a guitar. He's, he's, he's playing banjo, and all the guitars, as I mentioned, the six strings were only 12 frets clear of the body, and he couldn't reach the upper register. And he was used to playing a banjo, to playing a banjo and getting up there, so he asked Martin to design him a guitar with more frets. We believe it was 15 frets, to be exact. And the Martin engineer said, well, we can give you 14 frets. And what they did is they pretty much squared off the shoulders of the guitar. So this guitar would have come out in 1929. The squaring off of the shoulders on the dreadnought did not happen until 1934. So between that time period, they were still making 12 fret dreadnoughts. But this guitar was the one that came in 1929. And it also has Martin's long scale. Shares that with the dreadnought guitars. The long scale is 25.4 inches. The short scale is 24.9. So you think 24 and three quarter and 25 and a half. 
Gibson, 24 and three quarter. Fender, 25 and a half. What's the difference when you pick up the guitar, those guitars? Well, on a, on a Gibson, you feel a little less tension. You can bend the notes a little easier. On the Stratocaster or a Telecaster, you feel and hear a projection uh, a little more, a little stiffer, not difficult, but just a little more resistance to your playing hand, whether you're left or right-handed. And they do project really, really well. Well, the same applies to the acoustic guitar. So a lot of blues players like, you know, there's no set hard and fast rule. It's what you prefer. But that's what you get, a little more projection with the long scale and a little warmer, easier to bend feel with the short scale. All right, so here's the authentic. Hide glue is used in the construction. Hide glue is heated up. It's, it comes from the hoofs of uh, animals and it's painted on with a brush and when you put the pieces together, you cannot, as the Pennsylvania Dutch say, you can't yokes it around a little bit. You, you can't move it once it's there. It really is, but it dries to a very, glassine, crystalline form. It's almost cohesive, making the two pieces one works really well for tone and sound transfer. the authentic. Thank you very much. Got it? Yeah, good. Okay. So now I'm going to ask for you to let me play a song for you. Where's oh, the yeah, Ralph? Good. Where's the Ralph song? I don't know what song it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so there's the slope shoulder we're talking about, but it is a 14 fret model. Kind of looks Which reminiscent. Is, that's a Martin copy of a Gibson copy of a Martin. <laughs> He's right, back then uh, Gibson made these slope shoulders too. 
After after, after Martin after did. After we made the dreadnought, they yep. had to make their own yep. dreadnought. <laughs> Now I will I will tell you one thing here. Apparently Ralph likes light gauge strings. Sounds great, it, awesome. But if you want to make it even sound better, put a medium gauge set on. I put mediums on last night. Oh my! It opened up the whole guitar. Now it's going to be a little more yeah. this. So if you have any issues at all, you'll stay stay with light gauge. But if you don't, you want the guitar to open up a little more. Well, have you seen the old man outside the closed down market? He's kicking up the paper in his worn out shoes. In his eyes, see no pride, I'd held loosely by his side. Yesterday's paper, telling yesterday's news. Oh, how can you tell me you're lonely? And you say for you, the sun don't shine. Just let me take you by the hand. I'll lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something that's gonna make you change your mind Oh, and have you seen the old gal Who walks the streets of London Dirt in her hair And her clothes and rags no time for talking Oh, she just keeps right on walking Carrying her own Into carrier bags So how can you tell me You're lonely And you say for you The sun don't shine Just let me take you By the hand I'll lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something that's gonna make you change your mind Oh, in hell, I can Oh, and in the old man I'll call a past left that same old man who's sitting there on his own Always oh, looking at the world over the whim of his teacup Each tea lasts an hour, then he wanders off alone So how can you tell me you're lonely And you say for you the sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand I'll lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something that's gonna make you change your mind and Have you seen the old man outside the seaman's mission Memory faded with all the yellow ribbons that he wears in our winter city, the rain cries little pity. One more forgotten hero, and a world that doesn't care. So how can you tell me you're lonely? And you say for you, the sun don't shine. Just let me take you by the hand I'll lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something that's gonna make you change your mind Let me take you by the hand I'll lead you through the streets
streets of London I'll show you something that's gonna make you change your mind oh, That's built into this guitar, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much.